Welcome back subscribers and welcome new viewers. I want to thank each and every one of you who have subscribed, who like and share my videos because that helps my whole channel to circulate to more and more individuals who are in need of this information just like you. And a special thanks today for what I'm about to read goes out to Teresa. So thank you because this allows all of you to also have benefit of what I'm going to read, which is from Planets in Transit. And this is about transiting Pluto, square natal Venus. Okay. Let me get my glasses really quick. Okay, again, this is Pluto square, transiting Pluto square natal Venus. Under this transit, relationships become a source of challenge and even difficulty, which may point the way for changes that you have to make within yourself. Certainly there will be some significant change in your relationships. An old love relationship may be transformed in some way, or a significant new one may come along. But you will have to deal with several problems at this time. First of all, you have a very strong desire for love now, which you express with urgency and compulsion. But in your haste, you may latch on to the first person available and not wait for someone who is good for you. Also, you may become so intensely fascinated by that person that you do not see him or her clearly. The problem is that you are under the influence of unconscious drives that are not operating according to your best interest. For example, if you are married, even happily, you might suddenly become fascinated by another person of the opposite sex, which could disrupt your marriage. But avoid the temptation to go with the other person for this relationship will probably not be long lasting. Wait until the transit is well over before making a commitment to any relationship that comes to you under this influence. Such a relationship is inherently unstable, at least for now. After the transit, it may settle down to something more reliable. But an extracurricular affair is not the only challenge to an existing relationship. Strains and stresses that have existed for some time in your love relationships may come to the surface now. Jealousy, possessiveness, unwillingness to grant the partner freedom to be him or herself, all these may become sources of tension within your relationships. You may be either the perpetrator or the victim of these problems. The best procedure to do, excuse me, the best procedure is to deal with these strains and try to communicate honestly about them, even if you feel that what lies at the bottom of the problem is too awful to discuss. This transit brings both the necessity and the opportunity to completely transform your relationships. A bad one may end, but a good one will become deeper and more profound. Okay, I hope this was helpful. And if you'd like a written copy, send me an email. The Creative Woman 369 
at gmail.com. Until next time.